All right, the next element in the Judo Taiso exercise for Mr. Tamiki from the early 50s had to do with arm coils. So the, the, the action happening in the shoulder that coils the arm inward this way and outward this way. Sometimes people mistake this as turning the wrist. If I just turn my wrist over from my radius and ulna from the elbow, you get this sort of action, this sort of action, very small and tight. But what's really being engaged here is the action happening all the way up at the joint in the shoulder. The shoulder's rolling in, the shoulder's rolling out, and you feel it all the way up in this line. He does it uh, a forward step, and again, body drop, just one foot moving, and then body drop. And then he does body drop to the side with the opening action, the shoulder opening, body drop to the side. These sorts of actions in a, in a grappling context are kind of interesting. In fact, when he does his, uh, his uh, form that basically precedes what we think of today as the releases, the first two actions that are described in that form uh, work on these basic turning actions in the shoulder. We'll show those. So if he's uh, got a cross-hand grip on me here, and uh, we're basically palm up, and we're basically working right down here by my side. He makes a very small opening action. He doesn't move the foot through space. He just opens the hip here. And as he opens the hip underneath this foot, and this could be working if they're pressuring down and holding in tight and being strong. You can work with a partner and vary the degrees of resistance and what have you. But that little opening action, his body starts to tip and the line opens up. From there, the shoulder engages and rises all the way up. <laughs> this large swoopy action. And this actually works best if it's coming way up high, like, mm, like a dive bomber coming at him. So we look at it together, boom, right here. Good. We'll try it on the other side. Cross hand, that's fine, cross hand, boom. Look at the action of the foot, little, little foot action, not a big deal. Shoulder engagement into this coil. And see how we can place this basically, oh, it's like in a Rimi Nage position, potentially. If we come shallow, it would be locking him for a Kodagaish position, potentially. He ties that in the release form here. Hmm. with body drop step right there, just that single half step. But the interesting part to me <laughs> is the action that takes place in that shoulder. If, if Damon has me here and I try to rotate this with my radius and ulna and twist my wrist, he kills it immediately. Hard to, can't do much about that. If I open the hip, he still, he can still be pretty bossy about that. But if I leave the wrist static, basically, open the hip and engage the shoulder, wow, it's like it goes for a ride on its own. It's pretty amazing. But you do have to work the action of the shoulder right here. You have to work it from this joint, not from this, not from twisting the hands this way, but from twisting the entire length of the arm this way. In the second phase, what we see is this turning action here, he does this mirror hand. And mirror hand, interestingly enough, he doesn't even proceed with any footwork. He just starts engaging the shoulder and seeing the arm swing across. As the arm swings across, he steps in. And we get this sort of thing. The arm swings across from the shoulder and in. And again, if I try to twist this from the radius and ulna, from my elbow line, mm, he can shut that down pretty effectively. If I turn it from the shoulder, huh, he has a hard time stabilizing against the shoulder action and how it affects him. So if you look at it end on, maybe you see a different line. Shoulder step. And you have a very nice sort of yakugamiate <laughs> basic action, concluding with that body drop step again. So those are just two examples of how these of how this shoulder action can be imputed on them in terms of, of working with, uh, with grappling type conditions. Very useful. The shoulder action and how when I engage the shoulder this way or I engage the shoulder this way, you start taking the coil from your shoulder and inviting his shoulder to coil. You take the coil, <laughs> his shoulder coils because my shoulder coils. The symmetry of the bodies in grappling demands it, demands it. Very, very difficult to stop. 
because of where it's originating in terms of coming out of the core action of the body. So play with that a little, see what you find. Thank you.